I'm over here at the behind the bleachers, the football bleachers, uh, at the whole football field. And uh, I just found two class quarters with my new AT Pro, Garrett AT Pro. And I'm getting another signal right here, pretty good signal right here beside it. It might be a, a dime. I'll get back with you when I find it. It was a clad dime and a memorial penny. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. And there was another memorial sent off to the side. Get back where you find anything else. Well, we got a group hunt going on up here. Bugman and Indian Head Joe are up here with us, me today. And we're at this house where I found the two barber dimes. And I just found my first wheat penny. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. Me and uh, Indian Head Joe are back up here at Ozan hunting next uh, where I found that. 1898 barber dime the other day and uh well i had a friend kind of mow the ditch uh sidewalk strip again a little cleaner than it was the other day and uh indian head joe's up here with me and he just found he thinks he just found the indian head penny yeah there right there yeah it looks mighty green don't it yeah yeah see one cent awesome an indian head penny yeah. can't make out a date on it uh, no, I can't see a date, but there it is. Yep. Awesome find. I appreciate it. That's yeah. good. Did you say you already found a wheat penny, too? Yeah, I found a wheat penny over there. Over all right. There. That's, that's all right. So. Well, he's doing better than I have. I ain't done nothing but dug, dug trash so far. There's a, on my H Garrett AT Pro, in the uh, Pro mode, under coins, coins and, I guess, coins and jewelry mode, uh, that thing, you know, it sounds off on cans up in the 79, 80 reading. I don't much like that. Hey, has anybody got an idea what that might be? Hey, uh, any head Joe also found this thing here. If I can get it in the frame, in the frame. it looked like a car bullet. But, I don't know. Kind of weird looking. If any of y'all got any ideas about this, uh, comment on it. Well, you can't comment. All my comments have been disabled. But you know what? That just brings something to mind. From now on, every time I make a video, and when I get through making a video and upload on YouTube, I'm going to put my video over on Facebook. And uh, on, I'm going to post my finds on Instagram and Facebook. So if y'all want to come over there and comment on Facebook or Instagram, uh, you know, you can find me under William P. Simpson on Facebook. And Instagram, I think I'm Moolah or, or maybe William Simpson over there too, but I think it's Ula on Instagram. And get y'all, get back with you if we find something else. And then Head Joe had me going out here on this lot where he found the silver diamond and war nickel the other day. He found a, one of these new state quarters. He couldn't make it out. I thought he had a foreign coin. But that's all right. At least you found something, didn't you? Yeah, at least something. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to get out here and hunt with him for a little bit before dark. Get back with y'all if we find anything else. I'm hunting an old baseball field over here a few miles east of Hope at the old school. And I just found my first wheat scent. Get back with y'all if we find anything else. Well, I just found my second wheat penny. And this one here... In pretty bad shape, but I'll get back with you if we find anything else. I just found my first clad dime. Get back with y'all if we find anything else. Well, I just found another clad dime. Maybe I hit me a silver dime out here in a little bit since I found them wheat pennies. I don't know. We'll get back with you if we find something else. I know one thing. When uh, this uh, on this Garrett AT Pro, a uh, clad dime was, uh, that's been in the ground for a while. It registers about 80, 81 on the Garrett HD Pro. And on uh, silver dimes, they register a little higher, about 83, 84, and maybe 85. Get back with y'all to find something else. Well, I just found my third clad dime. Get back with y'all to find anything else. Well, I just found my fourth clad dime. Get back with y'all to find anything else. 
Yeah, I just found my third wheat scent. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. Well, I'm back over here at Emmett on this baseball field again this afternoon. And I got a little surprise when I got over here. The whole baseball field's been cleaned off. And so far I found a clad diamond and a clad quarter, but no wheat pennies yet. I found them wheat pennies right there on the infield. And I'm working the outfield right now. Indian Head Joe's on his way over from Texarkana. And he's going he's gonna to meet me over here to hunt with me. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. I was surprised I found them three wheat pennies over here the other day. So there ought to be some silver out here somewhere. Get back with y'all. Yeah. Get back with you if we find something else. In the head, Joe just came from Texarkana. He just found this wheat penny over there in Texarkana. That's all he found over there, and he came over here to hunt with me in Emmett. So get back with y'all if we find anything else. I just found this object here. About the size of a, I guess a dollar or a half dollar or whatever. It's black on the outside, been painted black. Kind of concave. But it's kind of decorative on the, on the end, on the other side. Like a star pattern. I don't know what that is, kind of shiny. Well, we'll get back with y'all if we find anything else. Well, anyway, Indian Head Joe. He found a, another wheat penny out here, and uh, that's that's about all. Uh, I, I found a clad quarter, two clad dimes, and a memorial penny, and he found some memorial stuff and, and a clad dime, and that's about all we found out here on this baseball field. Now Joe said, and he had Joe said that is this has been built up out here. I didn't I didn't realize that. You know, he said the last time I was out here, he was out here. It was all level across here, you know, across this baseball field. So I don't know, you know, but uh, anyway, I guess it's worth worth hunting, you know, when you feel like hunting, you know, to see what's out there, you know, for sure. For me, it is anyway, because it's just a close jump from here from Hope, you know, for me to hunt, right. you know. So I'll get back with y'all we'll find anything else later. Well, here's my finds for the afternoon. It wasn't much, but I found three clad quarters, three clad dimes, and three memorial pennies. And uh, I showed you Joe, showed you in the head Joe's finds. He had to leave, go you know, back, back to where his wife worked, picked her up for work. So anyway, uh, I don't know about this ball field. I, I worked down that right uh, field baseline and found two more clad quarters and a clad dime and uh, I think a memorial pinned down the right baseline, but uh, right field baseline. But, uh, I, you know, it's, this is a pretty good sized ball field and I ain't no way I could work it up, the whole the whole ball field all afternoon long. You know, I didn't get out here until after 5 o'clock anyway, you know. Because, you know, it's just too hot now, you know, to hunt while I'm in the middle of the day. And so, this is Ula saying good luck with your hunting, and God bless. Well, I just found my first piece of jewelry with the H Garrett HE Pro. And, uh, y'all, I didn't know if I showed y'all my Garrett the other day, but here it is. And, uh, I just found my first piece of jewelry with it. It was ringing in kind of high, 7980 on the on the target ID, 79 and 80, and it feels real light. I don't think it's silver, but anyway, we'll get back with y'all if we find anything else. Uh, me me and Indian Head Joe are over here across from Atwoods and Hope hunting a vacant lot that I had permission to hunt uh, back when I was on that training program. And he and Joe, yeah, he got his equal spectrum going today. And he just found a, a Civil War nickel. 1945. 1945. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks. Yep. We'll get back with y'all if we find anything else. Well, y'all, right now it's uh, White's versus Garrett. 
and uh, metal detecting. And so far, Garrett's getting beat. This AT probe's getting beat. Joe's got a, his white Eagle Spectrum working, and boys, he's laying it on me. He just found a silver dime. We don't know what it is right here, but it's right here in the hole. And uh, he's gonna look at it and see what it is. Looks old to me, Joe. In the head, Joe. Yeah, I think it's a, a Roosevelt. Looks like a Roosevelt. Yeah. Still silver, though. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's a rosy. Congratulations. Thank you. I can't even tell what date it is. Can't tell the date on it. No, my eyes not as good as it used to be. Well, that's a pretty silver coin anyway. Yeah, it Congratulations. Is. Thanks, man. Let me go over here and dig my silver now. Indian Head Joe just made a good find. We're hunting uh, in a different town today, and uh, he just found a seeded quarter, 1853. It's pretty well tarnished, but it's a seeded, and we, I know he's tickled to have it. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Indian Head Joe. Thank you. Good find. Thank you. Get back with y'all if we find anything else. Joe, when he had Joe just found the Civil War bullet. Looks like an infield. Get back with y'all if we'll find anything else. Congratulations, Henry Hedge Joe. Thank you. Looks like Indian Hedge Joe just found a pistol bullet. Congratulations, man. Thank you. You're tearing it up today. And found oh man, a musket ball too. Yep. Awesome. Man, yeah. Yeah. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, way to go, man. Got some old activity on this set. Yeah. Well, me and Andy Head Joe, we've been hunting a historic town outside of Hope. And uh, Joe hit a, uh, a spot of Civil War bullets, and we got, he got to pulling bullets after bullets out. And uh, he called me over, and we got to digging, and we found all these Civil War bullets. Look like there's two, three ringers. I don't know though, that looks like a, three is that a three ringer? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that, well, a two three ringers, two infields, or three infields. This one looks like it's been chewed or something, or something wrong with it. Uh, and about four, five musket balls. We've got, there's a pistol bullet over there. And there's some flattened out lead. I don't know what that was used for. And uh, I wonder there was another wheat pen. Joe found another wheat pen too, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, he found the cedar quarter. Of course, I don't put that on the video already. But that was some good find. We're going to hunt for another, maybe another hour and a half over there on that lot or right before dark, and then we're going to quit. Because they'll probably have that site covered up. They're doing construction work on it. Uh, and next week I'll have it covered up. So, anyway, we'll get back with you if we find anything else. Well, in the head, Joe found some more bullets over on that lot. We're about, about to give out. We're going to quit. He found a, another, looked like another infield. Now, pick it up, Joe, the, so they can see it real good. Yeah, that's another infield, look like. And two more musket balls. And three little bitty round balls. Look like either bucking balls or or uh, what they call, I guess, pistol, well, lead pistol shots, or bucking balls, I don't know, but anyway, we he tore it up today out here on this lot when we was hunting today in the historic town. Well, we'll, we'll get back with y'all, we'll find something else in, in another, another day. Uh, bye. Love. 